morning, good morning, guys. How you doing all today? Are you guys enjoying this long weekend? Well, I sure hope you guys are, because uh, I'm going to be working. <laughs> uh, yeah, delivering your product. That's right. Possibly mine too, right? Yep, every product that goes on a truck is being delivered by some of us, you know. Every one of the product that you probably buy is delivered by a trucker one way or another. Just about, I would say. Unless you make it yourself. But then again, you need some kind of product to make it, right? So, yeah. Anyways, here we are, leaving Steinbach, Manitoba. That's right. Got her all fueled up and inspected and scaled. I know this is a heavy load, so uh, we got everything uh, taken care of. Made sure we're legal and all that good stuff. And it's supposed to be crazy windy today, so uh, we're not really going to be doing very good on fuel mileage today, I suspect. But hey, that's the way sometimes life goes. One day you do really good on fuel mileage, and the next day not so good. <laughs> I did really good coming back, so uh, I did like 6.75 US miles per gallon on my way back home. So that was not too bad, because I just fueled up, right? So it told me how much I did, and we did really good, so that's awesome. And what makes it worse today is the wind is coming straight out of the south. So that kind of makes it even tougher. Oh well, we got to deal with it, I guess. But here we are, making our way down to Clinton, Massachusetts to be there for Tuesday at 12.30. Yeah, they gave us plenty of time, although that's Eastern time, so that's uh, 11.30 our time. But yeah, we gotta make our way down to Clinton, Massachusetts. That's a nice trip. That's like 2,978 kilometers or something like that. That's what my GPS was saying. So we have at least three full days of driving to do. So we ain't going to get there even Monday night. We're only going to get there Tuesday sometime, but hey, that's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there unless we have a breakdown, right? We can't uh, prevent that from happening, but hey, we can do our best, right? We can only do our best, as they say. But this is Mitchell that we're going through right now. Little town here just outside of Steinbach. A lot of Russian slash Germans live up in this town. Yep. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and let's see what kind of day we will have today. Welcome to the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. We are entering North Dakota. Yeah! That's right. You know, for others, you guys could have gone up there to the uh, next exit there and pulled over over there, I guess. But hey, I guess you guys just decided to do it right there. But anyways, very, very windy out here today, that's a fact. Yep, here we are saying fact again. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to be putting the hammer down and trying to make our way down to Clinton. That's right. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there, as they said in that movie. Exactly, except we don't have to hurry up too much, actually. We actually got plenty of time. I only need to be down there by Tuesday, by lunchtime, so 
Today is only Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then uh, all the way till, uh, uh, well, I guess 11.30, I guess, but uh, yeah. So here we are, back in the United States of America. We got us 152 miles to go to Fargo, North Dakota. Yep. So, I don't know where we're gonna be ending up for tonight, but it uh, doesn't really matter. We're gonna have to drive a few hours, obviously, but uh, since we don't have to push it hard, I don't really have to worry about it. I can take her easy and just drive whatever, you know, maybe eight, nine hours today and do the same tomorrow and the same the day after. Whatever, right? And still make it there on time. But I like it that way, though, in a way. Because it's going to be a lot of miles. So if you work really super hard, like full hours every day, you're going to be out of hours by the sixth day, you know? So uh, then I might try to work a little bit slower. And then at least on the seventh day, if I'm back in Canada, at least I get hours back, right? So that way... Uh, it works better all the way around the way you look the way I look at it, you know. Is then I can just I don't go back to Canada and I have hours so I don't have to worry about it. And on top of that it also does give me a little extra time to work on my videos, to put them together, render them for you. Gives me a little extra time so I can work on that, make them look nice and get them ready to upload when I hit Canada again, right? So that way you guys have something to watch. Something entertaining to watch too, hopefully. But yeah, that's hammer down. That wind is just hauling today. Yep. I just had me a little bit of a pit stop up here in uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yeah starting to get a little hungry so he decided to uh, go ahead and go in there and grab us a Subway sandwich and it's a little bite to eat and uh, had our half an hour break although it wasn't really due yet I don't even know if I really would have had to take one today but figured well gotta go in and get me a bite to eat anyway so may as well well you're automatically having probably 20 minutes off anyways even if you just stop and go in and grab a bite to eat so I said well whatever let's just go ahead and do it then so that's what we did went inside had a bite to eat all that good stuff and now we got that behind us now we're good for another eight hours I wouldn't be able to do uh, my full 11 today without taking another half an hour because uh, I hadn't gone far enough yet in order to do that, but hey, that's the way it goes. Yes, sir, Bob. <clears throat> but anyways, we got another hour and 15 minutes and we'll be in Fargo, North Dakota. Not sure how far we will make it tonight yet. But I actually wouldn't mind going up to Wilson, Wisconsin. That way I'm through uh, Minneapolis. But at the same time, I don't really have to push it that hard. But I'll be there kind of late tonight. So if I continued cruising right, uh, right along, you know, and make it up to there. But I guess we'll see how I feel tonight. How tired I get and all that good stuff. So... I guess we'll go from there. <laughs> Plus, at the same time, we'll have to keep an eye and see how many miles we got, right? So, we got Sunday and Monday. But we have about two and a half days yet after we stop here tonight. So, so we'll see. We'll see. I might, you know. I just might go up to Wilson, but... We'll see. I mean, it's a long weekend, so everybody, you know, a lot of people are going to be home this weekend, probably. So it'll probably be a better chance for me to get parking, that's for sure. All right, guys, we are coming into Minneapolis right now. Yeah, we're just giving 
there today. It looks like we will be going up to Wilson, Wisconsin today. That's what it looks like to me anyways. Yep. Wife was saying it's starting to get a little cloudy at home and looks like we might be getting a little bit of rain at home but over here so far a little few clouds but it's been nice and sunny all day long and beautiful temperatures and all that good stuff and, but yeah we're just cruising right on through here I figure well it's about six o'clock right now so I figure well we'll try and get through Minneapolis here uh, instead of trying to do that tomorrow morning and on top of that it'll get us a little further right we'll get a few more miles in before we call it a day yeah, I mean six o'clock is still fairly early you know so yeah we're gonna continue on there at least to Wilson Wisconsin if not even further we might even go further who knows right we'll decide when we get there I suppose only problem with that is there isn't too much past that there is and there isn't you know we are done for today yes indeed we are we're here at the Toma quick trip truck stop yes indeed we are look at that wind chill eh we've gotten a lot of bugs here uh, over the last little stretch here getting here so uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and pull in over there by the fuel island tomorrow morning get this windshield clean pretty good so you guys can actually see something out of this windshield tomorrow morning yeah but anyways we're done so I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog for you so we'll be right back tomorrow morning at Trucker Rudy signing out <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come